Oh, hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the lessons that I've learned from painting every single day for over a year. Painting every single day for a year is no mean feat. At the start, I needed to make sure that I planned properly. If I was busy that day, I would maybe get up earlier. Now, I get up at five o'clock every morning. It's just what I do. I'm a morning person. I needed to plan. If I'm away on holiday, I needed to make sure that I took everything that I needed. You'd think painting every day would actually speed you up, but nothing could be further from the truth. I have found that over this year, I have become more and more deliberate. I have slowed my practice down. Because I use five colours, it really does mean that I have to be incredibly thoughtful about the different colours that I'm mixing. So it's really important that when you're painting, you do not make your shadows too dark. You can always make them darker, just keep them light and build up the values slowly and carefully and deliberately because that dark paint can be quite greedy and it can really be a challenge to build everything up. So edges, I'm thinking about how important edges are. Lost and found edges, hard definite edges and diffuse edges. The thing that you're painting goes off into the background and there's no clear delineation between the background and the foreground. I love this idea of these things. If you, you look at the old masters, the lost and found edges, it's just a magic thing. And I think you've got to be really brave when you're doing lost and found edges, definite and diffuse edges. So when you've got some detail, when you've got a big structure, like a nose or something like that, you want to have that big, strong line that delineates form. That's the boundary between the nose and the background. Your softer edges, you kind of blend it in so it's a little bit diffuse. And this means that it looks like it's further away. It's a little bit out of focus. If your favourite food is pizza, then you look forward to when you have pizza. But you don't want to have pizza every single day. Pizza every day would be boring and it would then cease to become your favourite food. What I've learned during these 365 days of painting is that you need to make sure that you vary your brush strokes. If you have a painting that has the same brush strokes all the way through and it's all very uniform, it becomes quite boring. The brush strokes and the way that you can make the paint move and do things, if you give it some energy, that's really appealing to the viewer. So it's really important that you select the correct source material. Make sure that the source material that you're painting from is visually appealing. It's got really clear highlights, really clear dark areas, and that it, you've got everything that you need there to make your painting sing and to make it interesting for the viewer. That's a really, really important tip there, guys. You can't paint a painting that's going to really move people if you're not excited by the source material. And if you find that the source material is missing that certain, what the French call a certain, I don't know what. So there you go. Some of the lessons I've learned for painting every single day for a year. Now watch this video to see how I start a portrait.